well, uh, big new policy uh, YouTube policies for yeah. channels directed around the children, kids, yeah, yeah Kappa. C- content creators and videos that are geared towards children can no longer have directed ads. Yep, and YouTube cannot uh, collect any data. Yeah, they can't cater for such to kids. things. Yeah, is a thing, and it, it there's some changes and stuff like you have to accept your channel as being for kids not for kids yeah you can do it uh in a because it's already when i'm uploading stuff in the mornings they have like the pop-up and stuff even even when i upload for my phone yeah uh, you can do it per video or you can just go into uh for those that have youtube channels that want to do it just go into your channel settings advanced settings monetization and then there's there should be a checkbox where you can do it for your entire channel um, by default, yeah. So for us, we just yeah, we do not cater to, to children. You know, like we sure. use adult yeah. language. It's generally for adults that like the things that we like to, yeah. to feel like part of peers. You know, mm-hmm. my yeah, question about this toy reviews or anything is like, what's the difference between this and having commercials on television? Well, well there might be some differences between like what commercials you have on uh, ABC or you know TNT versus what channels you have on like Nickelodeon. You're also not collecting tracking cookies. Which is one of the things that they announce they, they shove in there as like collecting information on children. Mm-hmm. Sure. So I don't know why, but that seems to be the distinction. It's still tracking like rating data, though, right? Yeah, but that's not those kids' yeah accounts. It's yeah. the parents, you know. Like these, like kids are having like you know these this thing their own now. Gmail account linked to their YouTube channel. <laughs> and you know, I mean, it, I know a lot of copy uh, copyright. I know a lot of creators are worried or upset about some of the changes, but I mean, it will protect from some pretty crazy channels out there that create like weird like sexual videos with Elsa and Spider-Man and they make yeah a lot of money doing it because kids just see these weird things I don't know it's it's really strange yeah but hopefully I mean, that curtails that there's some that channels that gear towards kids like I know my kids like watching a few channels and yeah. stuff so it's going to really affect some of them oh, yeah. uh very hard yeah so <clears throat> and if you're I mean if if children are your main audience, they won't be able to support your channel financially. No. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So it doesn't work when you're like, well, let's try a Patreon because yeah. you're going to have well, this eight year old kid. Didn't, he doesn't, he doesn't have, have a credit card. He doesn't got five bucks to yeah. give me through a yeah credit card or yeah. whatever. So yeah, it's it's a. Uh, I mean, I know some of them that have like, they have toys over at like Walmart and stuff now. So like they've gone to like merchandising and stuff too. Like my kids are like, hey, I want I want this toy because it's from this YouTube channel I watch. And I yeah. was like, well. That's, cool that's good for them yeah well i mean the unfortunate thing about it is like especially like the adult collector market like people that review unbox and uh show off like you know the black series or marvel legends or stuff it's technically it we're making these for other adults who enjoy collecting these things but the youtube algorithm is going to be the thing that selects like is this for children well it's a toy from hasbro that skews into this bracket of when it comes to the the uh that what people were searching for. It's the same so, kind of thing a while back that hit like channels that talked about like guns mm-hmm. or like, yeah. swords and, and like the, the, the yeah. uh, audio censorship and stuff. And the scary thing about it is that if you mark that this is not uh, for children and the algorithm or somebody says, oh, no, actually it is. And here's why you could face up to a forty two thousand dollar fine per video per video. That's yep, that's so crazy. Silly. Mm-hmm. Like if you're like, hey, this is not marketed for kids. Yeah. Like say ours, is like, okay, well, what are we watching? We're watching a cartoon. Like, yeah, yeah. but it's not geared towards kids, and we're reviewing yeah. it and saying, you know, bad words and stuff. And I mean, the the dark side of this, uh, with you know, the, I, I don't really know exactly how to say it, but the dark side of this is like regular TV, like the. Uh, the studios and stuff, they had been putting out so much content for children, and now children are just on YouTube. They don't really watch a whole lot of TV. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they take the rules and say, hey, we need them not be watching YouTube. We get rid of that market. Guess what? That Guess what? They're going to come back to us, you know? Yeah. And that's kind of like the weird, like, well, well what are you doing? Are you protecting your own business interests, or are you truly trying to protect children online? Yeah. You know? It's, it's all, all it comes down to is just lobbying. Yeah, like the the corporations with a lot of money that don't want to lose yeah. all their their investment in their market. True, they lobby to push the market back their way. Mm-hmm. So we just gotta make sure we're cussing a lot. Yep, doing lewd things, <laughs> making jerk off symbols. Uh, I would be worried about Clone Wars, but lately that has not been a kid show. No, it's not a kid it's show. Not a kid show. <laughs> the closest one we have is Resistance, really. 
Is it right now? But like, what if it goes back and looks at like Avatar: Last Airbender? Or I say fuck a lot. Ruby. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, there's not. Any, I don't know. I mean, all of our channel right now is marked as not suitable for ch- for for children underage. You know. Yeah. I don't um, think we've ever geared any of our stuff towards like, well, we're, we're, we want kids. Yeah. And we've <laughs> how how many times have I ever been like, you know, hey kids, welcome to Blind yeah. Wave. You know, yeah. or yeah. being like, you know. Yeah, he, we're talking to children in our shows. Evie is not allowed to watch our channel. No, yeah, <laughs> no. I mean, hell, the other day, last week, when I talked about uh, Kenny's costume on online and stuff, he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna show the kids. Just try not to cuss." Yeah, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, Cobb says I still stand by my idea to have Calvin yell "fuck" at the beginning of every video. <laughs> Oh yeah, just that start way, out just like if it's uh, Blind Wave Studios, fuck yeah, <laughs> <laughs> or like the latest Cobb Cobb compilation, this bitch, yeah, yeah, right. this bitch. <laughs> we'll have to see how it goes and changes different things too, and how some channels manage to continue, yeah, or what channels might die because of this yeah. change. You know, yeah. I feel like that's going to be a, an issue for some people too. Like even even some gaming streamers you know there's some people that are, are just minecraft streamers or something yeah. like that yeah or youtube you know they release youtube videos of it and like some of them you know probably aren't geared towards kids but some of them are well and it's like well, what's the difference between all ages and kids mm-hmm. like how, yeah. how do you yeah. define that like i mean we can't stop kids from watching us but we yeah. can say hey guys you know we're not really meant for yeah. a seven-year-old kid or something like that but if a 13 year old kid watches us and his parents are like hey you know you can watch it just don't say those words <laughs> you know like yeah yeah all right and I, I would say that with you know i mean stuff like this will come and go but the most important thing and this is not a plug for us by the way but if you have a favorite creator you know they're going to be going through times where they're not going to get a whole lot of cpm they're not going to get a whole lot of monetization on their videos if they have another an avenue like like we have our patreon um go and support them if you like if, if something like hey, i'm watching these guys every day I'm going to give them a dollar a month or you can even go lower, you know, something like that just to give back a little bit yeah. because people work really hard. And so there's some of these channels that don't get anything anymore, like yeah. zero. They rely solely on merchandise and Patreon and stuff like that. <coughs> All and like we, third party income. We don't make, I mean, if we were just on YouTube and had no Patreon, we would not exist no. at all. I yeah. don't know if one of us could exist as we do now, you know? So it's absolutely vital that if you, there's somebody out there on the internet that you, that you enjoy, you got to make sure you help support them, you know? Yeah. So find those avenues, whoever those people are. There's a guy I watched that just gave, like, um, Pokemon stuff. Like, he would, he would like, talk about Pokemon lore and information yeah. and different things like that, and I would watch him, and it wasn't necessarily that like he was geared towards kids. He was just a YouTube channel that enjoyed Pokemon. But I guarantee yeah. YouTube can look at an algorithm and be like, oh, Pokemon, that's all he talks about. He's yeah. a kid channel. It's like, well, he's not gearing necessarily towards kids. He's gearing towards Pokemon fans, which True. if they started playing Red back in the day, how old are those kids now, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think it could also be a thing, like, I'm sure there, there are a lot of good, like, PBS-style YouTube channels, too, that are trying to, like, teach kids things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But it's hard to differentiate like what's good and what's bad on YouTube. Yeah. So, yeah. They have and to have a blanket that, policy. Most of that comes down to how good the algorithm is and how consistent the uh the manual reviews are yeah how, how you can dispute it or be like no it's not yeah. and who looks at those and how do they make the decision or and i'm yeah i'm also not the parent of the group but don't let youtube try to decide what your kids watch or don't watch too make sure you guys yeah. are watching yeah. what your kids are watching <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. make sure so yeah, yeah. They, sometimes you're the most you're the videos. first line of defense when it comes exactly. to that stuff sometimes suggested videos are not what kids should be watching yeah just by tags or keyword like, or something like, it's like that. Video games. That's why I hate like parents that like just like let their kids buy. It. It's a video game. It's for kids. And I was like, well, no, it's got ratings. <laughs> yeah, when I was a kid, yeah. that was great, you yeah, know. You but know? now I watch my ne- my nephews are watching plans. So I'm like, hey, whoa. You know, I yeah. no. I gotta be getting older. Whenever I was at the skate uh, thing with Leon and Baby Got Back came on. Yeah. And I'm like, is this appropriate? There's two kids' birthday parties going yeah. on now, and they're like <laughs> ten years old. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Like that goes through my head and. It, it, when I was a kid, it'd just be like, yeah. <laughs> you know? Little kids humping each other. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. It's just, it's different. Yeah. Like, I had, I played Grand Theft Auto when I was, how old were we when we played Grand Theft Auto 3? Yeah, my I character. I mean, when it came out. When, when so. I played that game, I don't know. Yeah, what, what year was it? Yeah. I'll, I'll look. Like, because I, I think it was like 2001. My character right? banged a hooker, 
And she got out of the car. I ran her over and took my money back. Exactly. I did. You did. That's what everybody did. That's, That's what, what you did, did for hours. That's how and it And then was. occasionally uh, you'd play a mission. Uh, October 2001. 2001. So oh. I would have been... Hang on. I'm, I'm getting out the calculator. <laughs> I was Math. 13. Math is not I was 12. Suit. Yeah. Yeah. I now, would. I went with my grandma Wanda to buy it. And the GameStop lady tried to convince her not to get it for me. She got it anyway. And I was playing it. Like in my room. Yeah. And there's a lot of swearing oh, yeah. in that game. And I felt kind of guilty about it. So I had dad like in there with me. And then we just played it together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah when accompanied by a parent, it's okay. <laughs> I, I can, remember, movie theaters I can remember the day I bought it because we, we went to Walmart. I begged my mom to get it. No question. She's like, yeah, sure. Okay. You know, like, do you have enough? Like, cause I got 20 bucks a week, like working on the farm Yeah, and I'd yeah. be able to like, like save it up, basically. you know, I never actually got it. It was just like a credit and right. then my mom would pay for something. You <laughs> <Okay>. know, <laughs> it's kind of how it worked for that me. That way she could keep yeah. track of how much you were actually saving So up. I got it and then, and then I'm like, oh, I can't wait. Like I was so excited. You know, like when you have the case in there and you're opening it and you're in the car and you just can't wait to get home. And then we were going towards the interstate and we need to go this way so we can go back to lower Salem at home. And instead she went to West Virginia. And we went to my grandma's house for like six hours. Oh, no. And I was just, oh, I was so, no, I want to play. And I was just like reading the handbook yep. and looking at the map and <gasps> trying to, like, I'm going to go here and go here and go here. And I'm going to follow all the streets. I'm going to take everything. this gang and this gang over. <laughs> <laughs> Rick, I remember going and we were at the mall one day. I, think I, I know you, exactly what you're going to say. me and your mom. Yep. And I'm pretty sure we bought at GameStop Ace Combat. Yep. And then we sat in the in the food court waiting on your mom just reading the book. <laughs> and thank God we did because they didn't put the game in the box. Yeah, they didn't. That's right. No, oh, really. We opened it to read the manual, and there was no game in there. Oh my gosh! Uh, that was Ace Combat Four, I think. Mm -hmm. And then we went home and played Versus. It's a hell of a game. It is so fun. It's my first Ace Combat. I've loved them ever since. I haven't played the new one. I need to play the new one. I heard the VR is amazing. Uh, I, need to get, I want to get on PS4 so that I can play the VR. Yeah. 